Hey guys, this is SMI22. Welcome back. I didn't realise the video had stopped until I looked at the screen. I have, I have no idea how much we've missed. Yeah, a, a toad was in last, and you got a piece of doula candy, and all these coins are put on the... That's still scary! And all these coins are put on all the spaces, so... I have, I have no idea how, how long the recording's been stopped for. I think, I think it was only stopped for a short amount of time. But yeah, the video uh, maximum size was actually reached. See, I, I reached the maximum file size on the video. But I see, once again, I do apologise for that. I've not, I don't know how much I've missed. But, yeah, I, I have to look at that. Ten and a ten. What is? Oh, it double tens today. Oh, yeah. If you get the same numbers on a twice candy, uh, you'll get ten coins, no matter the number. And on thrice candy, you'll get thirty coins, no matter the number. So. That's the second time we've got two tens in a row. If I had three tens in a row on that thrice candy, that would have been crazy. But that's the thing with these hefty voices, I do get annoying sometimes. Sometimes even the slightest movement will do it, and sometimes you've got to shake it not hellish and it won't work. So. Yeah, but this, uh, but this game was made on launch year, I guess. So. And, um, yeah. this slow go candy's already been demonstrated, and I have no need to use it. And then I have, what's the other thing I have? A blow away candy, which I don't really want to use right now. So I will use the weekly candy. One to show it off, and two so I can steal a candy from the show. Yeah, the reason why it's got three people here is you can you turn it to you turn it to three mini people. That should be funny to see what happens when you fly, but you're gonna turn into completely the wrong place. But yeah, basically you can steal one candy from every player. It's way for the your minis to catch up. Oh, I got a thrice candy! Oh, sweet. That was a really good move, actually, because I, I just got a thrice candy for free. And that also means I just wasted a, a 20 of Yoshi's coins, because he actually bought that. I think Toad is just going to make it to the start. Yeah, oh, oh well. He hasn't got a star yet, let him guess that. But that actually, what I just realised is that I now have as many stars as all the computers put together. Which I think is pretty funny. But... Yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. You don't get any rewards or anything. I am going to adjust the angle of... Okay, that's better. That's better. <laughs> it's catching up the whole screen now. Before it was... It kind of slipped a bit and it was... Kind of a little black bar on top of it, so I just sort of that. Yeah, another 1 versus 3 minigame. The games in this actually can be very, very slow paced. I think it's like the most... I think it's like the slowest paced of all the Mario games, all the Mario Party games. Yeah. A uh, bonus mini game. Uh, the first bonus mini game we let's play. Uh, move your basket to capture as many falling coins as you can. It's three against one. If you get hit by a spiny egg, uh, you won't be able to collect coins for a few minutes. I think the three player has an advantage here, but only. Only slightly. 
because the one player has a bigger basket, and the three players have more baskets, but um, the one player has an advantage there, because, but um, if you get hit by a spiny egg, at least you can get like back up from like all your others, like you, like, my case of one. Um, <laughs> but if you're like the one player to get hit, then you kind of, you, you can't collect any points, and wow, I thought I was red then. Yeah, we missed one coin, but it doesn't matter. Because one week you missed two coins. What are we just celebrating so weird? He pulls a rose out of his nose. I, don't, I really don't care that that rhymes, because that is a really weird celebration. I, I know one of the is like... I think it's like for it's just supposed to be weird, but it really is just too weird. And this video has been going for six minutes already, and we done one turn. That was a very, very long turn. Um, like where is the star? Okay, what are we just like heading straight towards? I don't know where is it. Actually, I don't know where it is. I thought I thought it was on that top right, but obviously. I have absolutely no idea where it is. Shit, it might be at the start. Alright. Alright. I have no idea where it is. I'm gonna find it though. Where is it? Yeah. Oh, that's more or less where it's going. I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that, so I'm, I'm gonna save my thrice candy. See if I can use my slow go candy anywhere. Oh, sweet DK space. Yeah, definitely. One, two. Okay, I need a two. 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 I'm singing a really bad song. Forget I sung anything. Oh, just. You kind of have to hit it while it's on the number before the one you want, otherwise you'll overshoot. <laughs> it's still sounding painful. Trade 20 coins for a star. Yes, I will trade 20 coins for a star. Exactly on this. Oh yeah, I got DK space. I, I, I rigged a DK space. Didn't <laughs> Toad is using his dual account. He's getting set on fire. But no, these are getting we're getting seriously high rolls. Yeah, you roll two dice and then uh, are you doing with the first play? You need? If the uh, I'm gonna call him attacker and defender. If the attacker wins, they have the chance to steal a star. And it, and it, yeah, look at all the dual mini games. There's 18 four player mini games and there's 27 dual mini games. And I personally hate this game, but you know, I'm just gonna explain because the computers have control of this screen. Um, uh, basically, you'll see what happens. But um, if the attacker wins, when the dueler wins, then um, uh, uh, they get the chance to steal a star. If, they, uh, if the defender wins, they get the chance to steal. It's over 10 or 20 points. But yeah, you have to stop the trains from hitting at the loops. Um, and you 
you switch the direction by clicking on them. Also, they will get progressively faster, and they and they do have a light on them to show when they're getting near a balloon. And Toad is like is lost already. Toad is really bad. But he has another duo can so we can use it again. He uses it on me though, it's good. Oh uh, yeah, it's 20 points, okay. Oh, he just missed, he just got the 10 points. Um... Yeah, I definitely prefer Yoshi winning that, because at least nobody gets a star. So. No, I am three stars ahead of everyone else. I have, I have more coins than everybody but Yoshi. So. I'm not really at risk. Yeah, although the bonus stars could go either way. Sick and twisted. This is the only four mini. This is the this is the only four player mini game I believe in which you can get high. Yeah, uh, jump from one spinning platform to the next and race to the finish. Uh, uh, watch out for bullet bills. They tend to fly in uh, just when you need to jump. Hold sideways, move and jump. It's a platform game. A uh, platform peril for Mario Party 2. Except you're going completely sideways and the platforms are spinning. You're going sideways, not diagonally. Go! Yeah, think platform peril. I know Mario Party 9, they, they made a game called Sky Jinx, which is, which is like platform peril. Yes, I have Mario Party. Actually, I actually bought uh, Mario Party 9 before I bought Mario Party 8. But at first, um, I wanted to buy uh, Mario Party 2. From I actually bought Mario Party 2 from the Wii Virtual Console before I bought Mario Party 9, so I could see the old rules and like, and, like compare them to the new rules. And yeah, um, the new rules. It's it's had a lot of abuse. Because that's the only one I can think of. By, it's, it's had a lot of criticism for those rules. Um, a dirty number of coins. Um, it's had a lot of criticism uh, because of the the rules. Uh, but in my opinion, they're not actually that bad. And I might actually make these next few videos 15 minutes. Yeah, I'll do that. But they're not actually that bad. But in my, in my opinion, they're not as good. I prefer the old rules, but I don't mind the new rules. <laughs> that's the second time that's happened to Toad. I feel sorry for Toad right now. <laughs> that's the second time that's happened to him. But yeah, um, in that last game, as long as you make the finish, you get the coins. It's not. A... Although it says it's a race, it's not really a race because as long as you make the finish, you get uh, the ten coin bonus. So... <laughs> Mario's got hyperactive. Hyper boot. That'd be cool. If there was a Mario, and it'd be called a Piper Boot. Sure, it would, because then it'd probably be really, really hard to beat. So a Piper Boot would be like really hard to beat. Mario's turn. Bah! What do I do? What are the options? There's a Bowser space though. I might actually benefit. Him. Because Yoshi, actually everyone is like really close to this guy. So I'm going to go for the Bowser space. One, two, three, four. Wait, when did I get another slow go candy anyway? I don't even remember getting another slow go candy. 
I need a four, right? Mario is calling on Bowser. This seems very weird. I don't think anybody's actually used a slow go cannon to get out of Bowser's place, but this is a tactical decision. Whoa, you call this a party? I'm here. Oh uh, no, wait, Bowser is here to shake things up. Okay, you did win. It's now trying to shine. Puny Mario never knows what's going on, so I'll make life crazy by moving the star. Do you know exactly what's going on? This is a tactical decision. Now I don't even know where the star is. Good luck, suckers, you're gonna need it. Evil separation particles. Unholy mode. I love. Unholy mode! Let's move the star. Uh, where on this great green earth could it be? Somewhere on this board. A lot closer to me. Wait, that's where it moved last time. It moved from the location it was to the location it is last time. 